Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date, March 15, 2016, our discussion is going to be on criticizing. In Luke 6, 37-42, do not judge or you will be judged, and do not condemn and you will be not be condemned, and you will be pardoned. Give and it will be given unto you. They will pour into your lap a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. For by your standard of measure it will be measured to you in return. And he also spoke a parable of them. A blind man cannot guide a blind man, can he? Well, will they not both fall into a pit, a pupil? is not above his teacher, but every one after he has been fully trained will be like his teacher. Why do you look at the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, Brother, let me take out the speck that is in your eye when you yourself do not see the log that is in your eye. You hypocrite, first take the log out of your eye, and then you will see clearly to take out the speck that is in your brother's eye. Philippians 2, 6, 14-16 Do all things without grumbling or disputing, so that you will prove yourselves to be blameless and innocent children of God, above reproach in the midst of a crooked, perverse generation, among whom you appear as lights in the world, holding fast the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I will have reason to glory, because I did not run in vain, nor toil in vain. What I'm getting here, if we criticize wrongly without the facts, it is wrong and sinful. Marion paid a price of receiving leprosy for seven days because she and her brother Aaron complained about their younger brother Moses. This is in Numbers 12. We need to do all things without complaining and with joy. Try to follow the path of Jesus. Be blameless and able to move into the light and be a beacon unto the world. I want to thank you and have a blessed day. God bless.